Arena Sabalenka versus Alina Ostapenko is the fourth quarter final for the Rome Masters for 2024. And both have had to fight to get to this stage. Ostapenko entered the tournament as the number nine seed, and we get a buy in the first round. In the second round, she take on Potapova, but there was no problem getting through in straights. 6 4 6 2. In the third round, she take on Tormo, who just beaten Pavlyuchenko in the last round. And this was a fight. After splitting the first two sets, Ostapenko would win in the third, 6 4 5 7 6 1. In the fourth round, she take on the qualifiers from Kova, who had beaten Bolter and Kennan along the way. And this was another battle, with Ostapenko losing the first set and fighting back to win 4-6-6-4-7-6 to advance to the quarterfinals. Sabalenka entered the tournament as the number two seed. We're going to buy in the first round. In the second round, she'd take on Volley Nets and after dropping the first set, would fight back to win 4-6-6-3-6-2. In the third round, she'd take on Yastremska, the 32nd seed. This was no problem getting through in straights. 6-4-6-2. In the fourth round, she'd take on Svetolina, who just destroyed Kalinskaya in the previous round. And after saving multiple match points, Sabalenka would win in a very close tie break 4-6-6-1-7-6 to advance to the quarterfinals. Finals. These two have only played twice before, with Sabalenka winning both of those times. Their last match being a three-setter in Dubai last year, with Sabalenka coming back from a set down. They've never played on a clay court, though, so that makes it a little bit more interesting. Because, of course, both ladies like to hit hard, and the clay will slow down their shots, so... Be really interesting to see how this matchup goes on the slowest of surfaces. If Ostapenko is going to win this one, she needs to get off to a good start here because if she gives Sabalenka a first set, Sabalenka might be able to run away with it. So she's got to get off to a good start and try and keep her emotions in check because we do know that Ostapenko does like to get a little angry and complain a little bit. So she's got to keep her emotions in check if she's going to beat the second best player in the world. If Sabalenka is going to win this one, she needs to get off to a good start and she needs that first set. She was injured in the final set against Svetlina. So if there is still an injury going on with her back, she's got to get off to a good start and not let Ostapenko extend rallies, which she doesn't do anyway, but she's going to have to try and take over the baseline and make Ostapenko run. Really fun matchup. Kind of crazy that they haven't played more often considering that they're the similar generation, but I've got to go with Sabalenka in this one. If she's healthy, I think she'll be able to play. If she does play, and that's a big if, I think she'll get the win in three sets, but let me know down in the comments below who's making the semis.